Bringing a new dog into your home is undoubtedly an exciting experience. Sure, human beings are all well and good, but no family is quite the same without a dog in their midst. Dogs just make everything better and more fun. However, it's exceptionally important to be mindful about where you find your dog. For one thing, they could have experienced trauma in the past that affects their behavior. For another, they might be hiding secrets that only a reputable shelter or breeder could know for sure. This woman found that out the hard way. We all share special bonds with our pets, and most especially with our dogs. They are man's best friend after all. People meet their dogs in many different ways, but for some, it means finding a reputable breeder. However, other people are content to adopt their dogs from shelters, even if that means they don't know everything about them. For these folks, the rewards of rescue are well worth the potential risk they may face. However, one woman in China found out the hard way that even shopping for a dog at a breeder's or even at a pet store doesn't guarantee you'll know the truth about your pooch, and she's still dealing with the consequences. This woman, known only as Miss Wang, dreamed for years of finding and adopting the perfect dog. She often visited shelters and consulted with breeders, but she never really made that important connection between her and a potential pet. That all changed when she visited a pet store recommended by a friend that specialized in finding homes for Japanese spitz dogs. Miss Wang checked out their site and instantly knew she had to have one, and it was no wonder. Who wouldn't want one of these cuties? When Miss Wang met one of the adorable puppies, she fell head over heels. She was excited to share pictures with her friends of the soft, fluffy, sweet-faced pup she'd welcome into her life. According to reports from other outlets, Miss Wang paid the equivalent of $190 for this rare breed. She thought that price seemed low, but she didn't mind or worry. After all, the breeder was recommended by a friend. But those friends quickly became concerned. Sure, the puppy was cute, but it looked wild. They mentioned this to Miss Wang, but she brushed off their concerns. The Japanese Spitz breed was made to resemble a fox, and that's probably what they were picking up on. Life with her new puppy progressed, and while Miss Wang loved the dog very much, she was also struck by some pretty bizarre things about the puppy that she hadn't noticed until then. For one thing, the puppy never seemed to bark. Miss Wang did some research and found that while some dog breeds are less vocal, the Japanese Spitz was not one of them. The only dog who barks more than that breed is the Beagle. Her puppy should have been yapping up a storm. Then there was the young puppy's fur. The fur of a Japanese Spitz is white and very fluffy, but the coat itself isn't very thick or heavy. While her puppy's coat was bright and gleaming white, she noticed something strange about it. Miss Wang could tell her pet's fur was coming in very thick the older he got. Still, these two facts weren't enough to convince her something was wrong. But the next thing she discovered certainly was. For the first three months that her new puppy lived with her, he ate happily from his dish of puppy food twice a day. But then, out of the blue, he started to refuse the food that Miss Wang offered him. At first, she thought maybe the puppy had simply outgrown the taste of his food and it was time to put him on a different diet. She bought him food meant for adult dogs, but the results were the same. He rejected the grub. That's when Miss Wang knew that she couldn't avoid the truth any longer. She had to get her dog to the veterinarian's office and find out what was going on with her beloved Japanese spits. When she took the dog to the veterinarian's office, the whole team was stunned. They had suspicions about what was wrong with the puppy immediately. They needed an expert to confirm their theory. The veterinarians called a staff member from a local zoo. The zoo employee arrived at the clinic and after making a quick assessment of the dog, revealed the shocking truth about Miss Wang's unique Japanese spitz puppy. The dog was actually a fox. Miss Wang was shocked to learn that it wasn't entirely uncommon for shifty, fly-by-night breeders to pass off wild animals for expensive breeds. Everything began to make sense at that point. Though heartbroken, Miss Wang was relieved to learn that there was nothing wrong with her dog. He wasn't behaving like a dog because he wasn't a dog at all. But the disappointment didn't end there. Ultimately, Miss Wang had to surrender her beloved pet to the zoo. 
She knew that they would be able to provide the best life and diet for the fluffy little guy. It hurt, but she knew ultimately it was for the best. Wow, can you believe someone actually managed to pull off a scheme like this one? It's pretty outrageous. Here's hoping that Miss Wang learned a valuable lesson about dog shopping.